Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. We have to ask a question. Where the hell is Nicola Sturgeon? No one has seen hide nor hair of her for days. She was due to speak at a climate event and pulled out at the last minute. And I cannot believe it's through embarrassment. That woman has no shame. So why is she off the grid, under the radar and hiding? Is she really embarrassed? I mean, I don't believe it. And normally people like her would be clamouring for those high profile, high profile roles. And so would be out, you know, pushing herself, selling herself. Maybe she's realised that she can't sell something that is pretty worthless. But we'll have a look at this and find out what's going on. Now this piece is about her pulling out of a climate change event after the raid on her house. But it isn't just this, it's everything. She has completely disappeared. Will the real Nicola Sturgeon please make yourself known? Because she's just nowhere there. Uh, but Nicola Sturgeon has pulled out of a climate change event on Thursday evening as police continue to investigate her husband into the probe on the finances. Uh, the, fir the former First Minister had been due to take part in a conversation with Mexican diplomat Patricia Espinosa at the Edinburgh, uh, Edinburgh Science Festival. This comes after Sturgeon's house in Glasgow was raided. I'm not going to go into that. Edinburgh Science spokeswoman said, while Nicola Sturgeon MSP is no longer attending our climate change event, we are thrilled to be welcoming MSP Mary McCallan, Cabinet Secretary for Net Zero and Just Transition. What the hell that is, nobody knows. It's another po position that's been created uh, to give somebody a job, uh, but it actually doesn't do anything, doesn't tell you what it does. Probably costs a lot of money too. Um, she will join the Ambassador Patricia Espinosa for this vital conversation. I'm sorry, uh, no disrespect. But I don't think any sort of diplomatic talk between an SMP MSP uh, and, a, and a Mexican uh, diplomat is going to result in anything world changing or even could be described as important. Uh, that's no disrespect to the Mexicans here, a fine noble people. I'm more on about the fact that an MSP is little more than a town councillor on the world stage. Uh, the Edinburgh Science Festival has been proudly programming events such as these which highlight and inspire people of all ages and all backgrounds to action on our climate energy for many years. We look forward to welcoming our audiences to this insightful and inspiring discussion. So insightful, so inspiring that the Goblin of Govan decided not to come. She is in hiding. She, I cannot believe, I cannot believe a woman with no shame is actually hiding. Is it because she doesn't want to face the press or is it in case she accidentally says something that lets the truth out? That happens. Uh, they, you know, they, they get caught out sometimes by speaking. She doesn't even want to risk that. I think she's very, very um, cautious, let's just say. I think she's rightly cautious. I think she knows far more than has been sort of insinuated at the moment. Uh, a, spokesperson, a spokesperson for Sturgeon said, in order to keep the focus of this event on the critical issue of climate emergency, uh, well, cut, no, let, let's not lie here. And more lies, more lies. If it was a climate emergency, they'd switch off all the lights in Vegas, they'd close down Disneyland, and they'd ban private jets. That isn't happening. It isn't an emergency. Uh, because they keep trying to push us down, down at the bottom. Meanwhile, they still piss off around the world in their private jets. If there was truly an emergency, if you truly wanted to do something about climate change, you'd ban private jets. You'd ban things like that. You'd start at the top and say, no, no, the elite must uh, must take this hit. They can only travel by some scheduled airlines. No more private flights. It's damaging to the environment. They're the ones who keep preaching it, and yet they get in their jets and do that. So let's not call it an emergency. That's the last thing it is. Nicola Sturgeon has made the decision not to participate this evening. Uh, yeah, she's very bravely decided to run away and hide. And who can blame her? Because the press will be all over her. Nobody will be listening uh, to the ambassador. Um, although, to be fair, Nicola Sturgeon has got quite a taste for Ferrero Rocher. So I think she'll be missing out there. Certainly she likes the French ambassadors, Ferrero Rocher. That seems to be the case. Uh, and Mary McAllen will be there, but nobody listens to Mary McAllen either. So uh, yeah, bit of a non-start at that event. Glad I'm not going, and I don't suppose too many people are. Uh, there'll be the right people will be going. The, the you know the elite will be going, not because they want to hear it, but because they need to be seen by the other elitists because they're all there in a huge sort of you know one percenter elitist circle jerk, seeing who is the uh, 
who's got the biggest cock when it comes to being virtuous, I suppose. But anyway, uh, a large blue tent remains in place in the front garden of the property. It's just actually been taken away today. Um, and they've been digging up the garden, probably looking for the bodies. Who knows? Anyway, she's disappeared off the face of the earth. Nobody knows where she is. And she went, I mean, don't get me wrong, she won't be missed. But it's just very surprising that uh, all of a sudden she hasn't got a voice and she hasn't got a presence. Let's hope that that position remains permanent. Anyway, I shall round this off, come up and finish the video. So there we are. Where the hell is Nicola Sturgeon? She cannot remain incognito forever. She has to put her head above the parapet and when she does, the arrows from the press will come a hurling. She must account for everything that went on during the time, uh, her time in office and also what's happened sub sort of subsequently. Uh, they want to know about the timing of the raid. Were the police involved? Uh, were, like, were, were the police delayed by a political power is what I mean there. Uh, how much does she know about what Peter was doing? All these questions. Also, where the hell has she been? Why is she being so coy right now after all this time, a woman who fated the press, a woman who was always looking to get on TV, in the papers, be at the centre of attention. She's craved it her whole life. And now, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's not the big thing. It's not the be all and end all. And that is kind of, it's very telling. Um, I think there is, underneath all that bluster and bullshit, I think there is a craven, hiding woman, a woman who's scared. Uh, I think she's scared of the truth because I think she knows the truth would, well, bring her down and would ruin her reputation for what it's worth and would potentially, potentially end the SNP. I think what's gone on up there is absolutely uh, illegal. I think there's, there's so much criminology. It's only an opinion, but I think there's been so much you know, crime involved in what's happening here uh, with with everything. With the, I, think, I think there's been lying left, right and centre. Uh, and she's the only one who can account for it. So I'm afraid she must. And she must come out of hiding and she must be questioned. Uh, and I hope that the police actually issue a warrant for her arrest. I would love to see her being shook down to the local Nick with a pair of cuffs on. Anyway, I shall end there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see in here on the channel, please do hit that subscribe button right there. Ring that bell for notification of future output. Leave a like, leave a comment. Please, please, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well. And if anybody knows, do please tell me where Nicholas Sturgeon is. It'd be wonderful to know. And goodbye.